up there. Here's the big old scow at Crystal River. Just got to the tipping point just now. It's starting to go over. It's on the, they're doing everything by hand. On this side, they had a bunch of guys come alongs and chain falls pulling it. Just got to the top. See, it kind of twisted itself around as it <laughs> wooden boat straightened back up that. Now on this side, they got a strap going over the top, a little long pole. Supposedly, when it goes down, it hits the hay. Wayland's standing here watching. Make <laughs> sure it doesn't break. <laughs> Uh, I'll send out a video for the world to see here what's going on. And down on this end, a couple of ropes wrapped around stumps. You got a giant boat full of water <laughs> to, to help with the drag. Oh, you can hear it goes creaking and cracking as it goes down. Take up this, this pole laying down. It should take up the slack in a minute when it goes up. What was that? That's just a rope. Wayland says there's a hole underneath this pole here. It'll drop into. Okay. These guys back here. Big pole planted in the ground. <laughs> Control it. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. Pay out, pay out. Oh, God, it's a turtle. It's a turtle boy. Uh, uh, yeah, back up a little. Okay, there's a hold up here. I give it down, it's stuck up here, straight up. <laughs> Went as far as I wanted to go. Didn't do much effort. So, so far, they own everything by hand. The tractors are just something to tie on to. Find our website and our Facebook page and send them to us. Mm -hmm. Let's see it go down. Okay. Let's say it was trying to go, but uh, I must have bumped into the hay bales or something here. Down now. We've been at this for a long time this morning. Here it goes. Good red track. Looks like from these guys' point of view down here. Doing good, guys. <laughs> what? Very neat. Let's see if the boat will go on its own collision. That's neat with that big pole sticking up there. Once you put the pressure on that, it'll really control it nice. Mm -hmm. Said this thing, this bare hull here, it's made out of pressure treated two to sixty. It said it weighed three thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. 
It went amazing as well. There wasn't any yelling and screaming. Mike, uh, uh, Steve Kingery's in charge, sort of. Between him and Whalen and these other guys, it's going pretty good. There it goes. And it's landing on the, uh, the hay bales. <laughs> Pulling cable locations and things. Okay, get back to the. Uh, Those in the old days, they would have had mules on the other end. <laughs> That's it. I almost got to the very end here, and something was hanging up or something. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna let her rod drop. I can see it's almost down. It's all the way over here. There, you can see from this side. The bottom's sort of halfway painted. Painted with tar, I think. Eventually they'll jack it up and put bottom paint on it. I don't think you'll be, this will be living on a trailer. <laughs> It'll be oh, a couple of years before it's done. Mm -hmm. I have to stand here and run it for the last few feet here just to see what happens. Although it looks like easy. You could just about drop it from there. It looks pretty damn strong. It's got a lot of frames and bracing in it. Look like he's cutting cables over here. Got big old giant cable cutters. <laughs> I'll keep her going here when it's. I bet I'll put it back to the boat here when those cables snap. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Jimbo fell in it. <laughs> As I say, this thing is indestructible, so it's... <laughs> you couldn't hurt it. Uh, pretty neat. <laughs> I wanted to be the guy on the cables. Oh, look at up here and see what it looks like. Oh. Not with that wood. <laughs> see what the thing looks like. Oh, any season here, and you sort of see. Good job, Pete. That's pretty much a one piece. There you go. I have clothes. You can see why I'm heavy, dude. Oh, that's light. Yeah, heavy, dude. That'll last forever. You know what it did? It got your own perspective. And that's it from Cedar Clee, Florida. This is a giant scow used in the Civil War.